When you see an insect, how do you feel? Your first reaction is most likely to be, ew, well, you're not alone. Some people think insects are disgusting and gross. We want to help. We want to teach you more about few common insects. It's important to appreciate and assist the insect in our ecosystem. When you know more, you are less disgusted and can understand what insects do for us. The first reason we should appreciate insects is because they pollinate. Pollination is the transfer of pollen from plant to plant. This allows a plant to produce fruits and to have seeds. Insects' bodies collect pollen and carry it onward. Here we have a wasp on a crown-shaped flower with multiple petals sticking out. The wasp has to land on top of it and then pushes its head and its two front legs down into the petals to get the nectar. This means that the pollen of the flower will get caught on the insect's head and legs. In contrast, here we have another kind of flower with tiny little flies on it. This is a white flower. It's shaped like a landing pad or sort of like an umbrella. For an insect to get nectar from this flower, it has to walk on top of the flower. Therefore, the pollen on the flower will go onto the insect's legs. All in all, we really need insects because we, really, we depend on them to create our food. Next, let's take a look at some special features of insects. These features make insects so amazing. Every insect has a different life cycle. There are two major types of life cycles, simple and complete. Let's compare them. The simple or incomplete life cycle of the Carolina grasshopper includes three stages, egg, nymph, and adult. The nymph looks like an adult. However, it is much smaller. Isn't it interesting to know that the Carolina grasshopper makes noises by rubbing its legs together? It does this in order to attract mates or protect their territory. The life cycle of the red animal butterfly is completely different from the Carolina grasshopper because it has four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. This means that insects go through a complete metamorphosis. It changes its body from a warm shape into a glorious black and red wing. Isn't it interesting to note that the red animal butterfly doesn't have a mouth to chew or bite? Instead, they have a long and straw-like structure called a proboscis, which allows them to suck up liquids like nectar and juices. Next, let's take a look at the physical adaptation of all insects that have in common. All insects have a head, abdomen, thorax, and six jointed legs, but their body parts need to be different so they can share the same ecosystem. Let's look at legs, for example. All insect legs have a femur, a tibia, and tarsals. Insects use their legs to survive in nature. Here is the praying mantis with hooks on the tibia to grab their prey. The golden northern bumblebee has walking legs and tiny hairs on their tibias to help shed water. Both insects use their legs in different ways. Another thing that insects adapt to is the plants that they use for food and shelter. Every animal gets their energy from plants. For example, the June bug needs the white oak tree for food and shelter. The praying mantis needs the goldenrod flower because it supplies them with food to eat. Insects are vital to the environment. They are a food source to many organisms and pollinate trees which give us oxygen. That is why we need to help these plants. Goldenrod and oaks are not the only native species that insects need. Every single insect has a different type of plant that it interacts with. It is important that we know what we are doing so that we can help insects when we live our everyday lives. It is also important that we give back to the native species of the area, keep the native plants that we do have, and stop bringing in invasive plants. Invasive plants cause trouble because they don't give the proper nutrients to insects and spread uncontrollably. The reason that there are invasives is because of us. For example, there's a vine, bittersweet, that was brought over to the United States for porch decorations and ended up spreading wildly. It even grows right up over tall trees and ends up killing them. This just shows how badly things can get out of hand when we don't think about the whole ecosystem and how we are affecting it. Climate change is a change in the distribution of weather patterns. Certain human activities have been identified as primary causes of rapid climate change that can have a large impact on many species. Insects that usually eat plants or use them as shelter are the ones that face the most problems in a, cl in a changed climate. For example, the red admiral butterfly usually flies on warmer days or sunny winter days. However, it migrates in the spring and sometimes again in autumn. When the temperature changes and causes too many rainy days, it can disrupt
the butterfly's life cycle. On the other hand, the June bug likes a warmer climate and might gain more habitat if a region that was cold turns warmer. If the June bug population increased, then the balance of the food web could shift and might cause further problems. Climate change is a problem because complex food web means that it is never just one species that is affected. There are some steps we could take to help the insects. Being energy efficient and using fewer fossil fuels. This would reduce the rate of climate change and animals would have more time to adapt. Humans can survive as the only species on this planet. We need other organisms like trees and plants because they create the ecosystem. Humans also need insects to survive because most of our food depends on the existence of insects. Fortunately, taking care of the ecosystem is not hard. If we start sharing our landscapes with insects that commit to their supporting needs, then we can save many of insect species that still exist. Here are three ways you can help insects in your own backyard. First, don't rake up all the leaves in the fall. Insects can use the leaves for shelter and food. Second, put out clean water in a shallow dish filled with rock. rocks. Insects can perch on the rocks to get a drink. Finally, you can use beneficial insects for pest control. Avoid using pesticides as they are deadly to more species than the one you are trying to remove.